In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Tableau and Excel to do multiple regression. We're going to use Tableau to be the medium through which we present this model and allow users to interact with our model. Uh, but to actually create the multiple regression model the first time, we are going to be using Excel. All right, so let's do that first. Let's jump over to Excel. Uh, in order to do multiple regression, it's pretty simple. Uh, hopefully, you already have some experience with using multiple regression in Excel. If not, this will be a quick primer. But basically, you select your input range. So what do you want to predict? In our case, we want to predict sales. And then what do you want to use to predict your sales? Uh, in our case, I have a bunch of different variables over here. So I, I selected that whole range. All right. I didn't select the first two, though. I, I don't think that they influence uh, my ultimate sales. All right. I also selected labels here because I included them in this range. And my output range, where I want to put the ultimate multiple regression table, is just there at I2. I say OK. It turns it out pretty quickly. Uh, some things I want to look for, a high adjusted R squared, and really low values for my p-values for the things that are weighing into my model down here. So if you see something, like I have one dimension or one measure over here that doesn't seem to be helping my model that much, like monthly disposable per capita income, maybe I discard that from my model in a subsequent iteration of uh, the execution of this multiple regression model. So I just get rid of it. Uh, and then hopefully that will help my adjusted R square value in the next run of this. Uh, for the time being, I'm just going to accept this model and plug this into Tableau to do some predictions. All right. So the intercept here is just a standalone value. If you're looking at like a conventional y equals mx plus b type of equation, the intercept is that b value. Um, these other coefficients are like the m values. And then the x's are their associated dimensions or measures. Hopefully that makes sense. If not, I'll jump over to Tableau and explain what I mean. So let's go to my calculated field where I actually create my prediction. And I'll edit this and show you what I mean. So there's my y-intercept. That's my b-value. So that came from right here. And then all these other ones are just the coefficient times the number of clicks. So the coefficient times the temperature. The coefficient times the discounts. What I also tacked in here is an adjuster. So I did the coefficient times that variable times one plus my adjuster. So my adjusters are just parameters in Tableau. And what I allowed them to do is just have a range of different percentages and allow the user to adjust them to alter what my predicted value will be. So this makes it interesting for executives when they want to quickly or quickly toggle back and forth a couple of different variables and see what effect that would have on your projections. So here I'm just looking at my projected values versus my actual values for the actual years there. In this case, I already have adjusted my model a lot. So if I slide this all the way back to zero for all these things, then you can see that the model pretty closely predicts what those values will be. If I want to show this for the future, what I can do is create another date field up here and just tack on another year. So I can predict for that next year, 2016, for example. All right. And then I created a running total of my predicted sales and just put that running total on my label. But then ultimately, when you put this in the hands of someone who wants to interact with this, they'll, they will be able to use these adjusters over here to see what effect they would have on the projected sales for that future year. So maybe an executive looks at this and says, I didn't realize that clicks had such a bearing on our ultimate sales. Let's look at our website and see better ways to engage potential customers. So let's revamp the website completely.